So today we'll see about uh, post and well settings uh, inside this. Uh, how we can do some kind of post production uh, thing inside Unreal. Uh, so how to apply that visual effects uh, using this post pro uh, post process. So we can add some kind of depth of field inside the camera. We can add some kind of fog uh, into the scene. How to add uh, the reflection and all these things. So this is what we'll be continuing in this session, and it will be like little. Uh, a good sessions to uh, see it. So we'll be working on exterior scene. Uh, Aditya, mic. Someone's mic is on. Okay. Uh, so we'll just start with this scene now. So this is the previous scene, and I just deleted all the lights inside this scene. Uh, what all the lights were there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just start adding one directional light. So go to the light. Here we have directional light, drag and drop, and uh, we have this uh, particular directional light inside the scene over here. So if I just see, this is one light which we have added. So if I just come down, uh, so we can just see this is what uh, we have the uh, light over here. Okay. So this is the light which will be adding uh, to the scene, and uh, we'll just start uh, seeing that how it works. So if press E. And I just just deleted everything from the scene. Uh, I just deleted the sky, and uh, there is nothing inside this uh, particular scene now. So we can just see it. So if you just show that before, let's open that project, and this was that project, and we have all this uh, thing. So don't save that. Let's open it again. So we'll be opening that scene again, and we'll just see that how oh, some more people came. Okay, so we have this scene, uh, which was previously, uh, which we have done, and this was the scene. Uh, I'll be starting adding all these lights, and uh, we already had added one light over here. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this directional light, and I don't have any lights inside the scene. Delete sky atmosphere. I don't want light also. I don't want this sky also. That's what I did uh, for the scene, and nothing is there uh, inside that light now. Uh, inside this scene, volumetric cloud also. If you don't want, I'll just delete everything. So except this post processing volume, uh, I just just delete everything, and then you start adding the lights. So let's add one directional light to the scene. Okay. Uh, so after adding this directional light, if I just try to change uh, the light direction over here, so whichever the direction you want. So I can just add it, and there is no sky uh, inside the scene. So this is this will act just like a sunlight uh, to the scene. So where whichever the direction I want uh, this light to be added, I can just add that over here. Depending on the direction, we'll get the shadows and all. Now here we have different options. So there is one more option over here called visual effects. So if I just click on that. And here we can just see that there are different tools. Uh, so post processing volume, uh, this is what we have uh, it over here. We we have added, and it is over here. So this is what this post processing volume is there. Uh, with the help of which we can control uh, certain region uh, inside the scene. And uh, to optimize the whole scene, we just need to use this post processing volume. So I'll just tell you what will happen if you use that uh, over here. And we'll just need to add this uh, sky atmosphere. If I just drag and drop this, uh, so it has added some kind of sky for me. And we also have this directional light. So if I just change or rotate this directional light now, so I need to make sure that I choose the directional light. And if I just change it, so you can just see that the whole scene is changing over here, and we can also see the uh, sun. 
okay so if i just rotate this directional light so where you want this directional light to be suppose here you want this directional light inside this scene is this so we can create this whole uh, sunrise or sunset scene over here using this uh, directional light and we have this uh, properties of the directional light over here uh, so we can increase this intensity of this light so if i increase more now we can just see this light intensity and we have this indirect light uh, intensity which is nothing but the bounce light so if you want to increase that so what will happen is whatever the light is coming from over here uh, it will hit the ground and it will bounce in this per, uh, particular places so if you want to use that you can use this uh, indirect lighting so 6 is the maximum value so if I just want to type 10 or so by default it will be 6 so if you want to make it more so I'm just adding 50 uh, and it, it is having that nice bounce over here inside this scene so if I just want to change that okay so how much you want to add this I can add it let's make it 10 or 6 uh, this will be a good enough light inside the scene okay so if I'm just rotating the light again uh, it will be too bright over here so uh, this is what we can control it by adding this light or okay so this attribute is uh, good and the intensity also is given too much so if I just give only one now we have this light which is over here so you can just see uh, so there are different properties of this light also so if I just click on this all and here we have this source angle so if i just make it five uh, you can just see this this is now too sharp a uh, light so if i just want to adjust this light position also okay source angle so uh, this is what uh, which will make it softer light or uh, this thing so if you want very soft light like this so i can make this soft if you want very sharp light uh, sunlight you can just adjust this or so using this uh, directional light and this as sky atmosphere uh, we are getting this particular scene so if I just go to the sky atmosphere right now so uh, whatever the things we have added over here so if you want to search and we have this sky atmosphere which is over here uh, so inside this also we have different properties uh, of this uh, sky what color this sky should be uh, or here we can change it over here okay so uh, this is all the sky properties how you want to add uh, over here okay so this works uh, if there is some kind of light uh, then only it is going to work otherwise you uh, it doesn't work for you so we have this one uh, light now so if you just select again the directional light over here so we can just see this directional light now if I just want to make it fully rotated up so we see this uh, sky and we also have the sun which is on the top so whichever the direction you want let's add the direction of this light in this particular direction and we have this so intensity little bit I want to increase for this uh, particular sunlight so I'll just go and uh, adjust this intensity two or let's make it three so we have this nice intensity and this light color uh, so if you want to adjust the light color over here we have this option uh, with the help of which I can change it so if you want pale yellow color for that light we have this uh, little bit of light color also so just try changing and adjusting this light direction to get that uh, particular scene and uh, one more attribute uh, over here which we have it over here is called uh, we can just see there's something called uh, volumetric cloud so if I just drag and drop this into the scene as soon as I drag uh, we can just see this is the clouds uh, which are generated over here and uh, we have different properties for the sky also so, so and it is moving also so we can just see that it is having some kind of movement uh, inside this so if I have this light skylight and if you just want to adjust 
uh, anything over here so this is the visibility of the light uh, visibility properties of the light you want to adjust and uh, whatever the light is there that will also affect this particular cl cloud now so uh, suppose if I just go for my light and if I just rotate this uh, you can still see the how this particular sky uh, is also getting affected with this uh, cloud so if I just rotate and how uh, this sun goes behind that particular cloud over here We just want to rotate over here and just want to have that kind of lights set up uh, this side and if I just rotate and check it so this is what we have so if you make it totally down uh, you will see totally dark uh, kind of lighting okay so this volumetric uh, uh, light and this volumetric cloud will help us uh, to adjust this over here so if you want to scale that cloud uh, we have this scale property everything is locked and we can just scale that light little bit uh, the clouds also Okay, so uh, I need to go for this attribute of the sky uh, to adjust that. So uh, if I just go for this volumetric cloud and then you try adjusting this over here. So and it is a movable light. Uh, you can just see this. Uh, this is uh, having the movement over here. So that's why it is movable. So if I just want to make it as static, uh, I can also make it, make it as a static uh, light. Uh, but here we have the movable. It is having already some kind of movement. And if you want to adjust the properties of this lights over here uh, or the cloud over here we can adjust the property of this cloud you can just see that you want the cloud to be more down uh, bottom altitude cloud now we have this the clouds are more down you want more high i can adjust the clouds and we also have the height of that uh, cloud over here so how much you want to adjust using this so certain properties of the clouds which we have it over here so you can just see that there is multiple layers of the clouds which is uh, adjusted over here so this is the layer height so if you want to blend those two together we have this now let's bring it more down and now we have this nice uh, sky so this is the planet radius so how much big that uh, thing should be so we can adjust that over here and here we have the ground so what color uh, you want for the ground uh, we can adjust it over here so this is the bottom uh, sky uh, cloud so if I just adjust this uh, now you can just see the color how it changes over here so it is getting affected with this okay so each of this uh, whatever the attribute I am adding it over here uh, we can just see that so if you want that uh, cloud uh, you can add that so if I just don't want I can just delete so even this uh, so I just want to make it like daylight right now so go to the directional light and let's rotate it up uh, to get a total uh, daylight for me let's fix it a little bit like this okay uh, so this is what the light which uh, we are uh, using now so just by adding the directional light and as soon as you add the uh, sky atmosphere and when you add this uh, cloud uh, you can see that what all things will happen over here so uh, for now what I will do is I will just switch off uh, this particular sky atmosphere and we also have an something called uh, environmental fog or exponential height fog so if I just left click and drag and drop this over here uh, particular fog and I, I won't see anything over here because the color of that is totally black so if I just change this uh, color now so if I just go and change this to certain color not for this let's go up yeah this one so if I just change the color of this uh, to certain color over here 
not changing it's not changing for some reason uh, as soon as I drag and drop uh, it should come it should change the color also yeah now it's changing yeah this red so here we have the RGB value sometimes I don't know why it is not changing so if I just add that and here we have this fog density so how much you want this fog and this is the fog fall off so we can add directly so I'll just what I'll do is I'll just switch off this light also and uh, then use this particular exponential fog over here so now if you want to see this fog density so this now now we can just see it over here so fog fall off is there and we also have this fog density how much you want this and this is the opacity of the fog how much you want to play around with this and this is the starting and uh, ending distance of that so how you want to adjust that fog over here so uh, we can use this uh, fog also directly into the scene before adding the sunlight and uh, I can add and show you this so if I just don't want this let's delete just delete this light as well and let's uh, go for this as well and let's add only this exponential fog uh, to the scene go up and here we have this now uh, if I just make it full now we can just see that how this uh, fog will uh, be seen uh, inside this and now we are creating this fog uh, environment over here so we can just see that now there is no light inside the scene we have some nice fog and this is the fog color over here so if you want this fog color to different color like if you want to make it more like this kind of scene which is over here okay so only the fog is there and there is no color uh, inside the uh, scene so if you want to make it more dark and this is the density of the fog how denser the fog you want it inside the scene so if I increase it more density and this is the fall off uh, this is like the height uh, how this height is there depending on this height of that it is changing the fall off of that okay. suppose if I want like this so I want something to create like little bit of night kind of scene with all this fog uh, inside the uh, scene I can just use this and next we can just add whatever the lights we want it over here suppose if I want to add uh, some kind of point light or spotlight uh, or any kind of light let's add this point light press W move it up and uh, this is the light you want to change the temperature now so if I just go to this property click on this use temperature I want to reduce the temperature of this light like this uh, so 3000 is the value which you can adjust and this is the radius so how much that light should affect the scene so I can increase this uh, radius and this is the softness and this is the length of the light so that light is affecting this whole region now so if I just want to see it over here that's what we have this one light over here so any other light you want to duplicate alt and add it this side of the uh, scene as well so let's add it over here now I just added two uh, lights over here so uh, if you want to add some kind of directional light also uh, over here so if there is some kind of uh, street light or you want to add this spotlight also let's try this spotlight how it looks so you'll know how this spotlight also works and rotate this so very less light I want to add it into the scene uh, so I'm just using this spotlight and uh, you can adjust the temperature of that light and this is the intensity so I just want to fill with and if you want to co cover the more region over here uh, you can also adjust this over here so we have this cone angle an outer cone angle and let's use the temperature again 3000 uh, so I'll just get that same kind of light over here inside the scene let's hold alt and duplicate it 
and rotate on the other side as well let's press w push it let's fix it so this light uh, what i'll do is i'll just reduce this intensity of this so more depth we can just see it and one more directional light uh, you can add it to make it as a, a moon light if you want to add uh, so again uh, just use this directional light as soon as a light add this light it looks too bright uh, over here uh, because of this uh, intensity so what i'll do is i'll just reduce the intensity of it to 0.5 so this this is just one light uh, which will act like some kind of moon light inside the scene and uh, which you can uh, just see right now so once i read make it 0.5 and here if you want to change the uh, color of that uh, so i can just change it little bit of more blue kind of tone for this directional light so if you increase the intensity you'll be able to understand that how uh, it works uh, over here so if i just go uh, to the intensity value so it is one or two so i can just see that so this is what which will add some kind of uh, uh, light into the scene and we have this so you can also use this color temperature if you want so if I just make it 12,000 uh, or 15,000 it will make the same uh, light effect what we have given using the color so when it goes for 12,000 values so it is more blue if it goes towards left it is more orange uh, tone you can just see it over here so this is what we have the scene right now and uh, suppose here also if you just want to add some uh, lights uh, over here like some kind of other light which is coming from this side uh, so you can also use some kind of uh, spotlight let's use one more spotlight into the scene i just want even this region to be filled with some kind of lights so it looks too dark over here so let's bring this press w place it and let's start adjusting the intensity of this light and uh, softness of that light so uh, we have this uh, different option so if i just come down we have the intensity so little uh, more intensity i can give for this uh, spotlight cone angle let's make it much bigger source radius and this is just to fill this whole uh, scene over here i'm just adding that over now we have this particular scene uh, and uh, there is one more thing inside this uh, visual effects over here is called uh, we have this post process volume so if i just drag and drop this let's drag and drop this over here uh, so we have two of this uh, one more thing what i can do is i don't want this particular thing so i'll just delete that off so yeah Uh, so this will have different properties inside the scene uh, whatever this post processing volume is there so if I just open this uh, different properties of that uh, depending on that uh, it will affect the scene uh, over here so if I just make this scale into much bigger size let's see this what this will do so if I go to the exposure switch on this exposure and reduce the amount of exposure over here and what will happen if I move my camera inside this particular uh, thing over here uh, and uh, it will affect that part now we can just see that when I'm inside this particular box uh, you can see that when I reduce the exposure it is reduced now if I just zoom out okay so when I go into this room uh, it will change the exposure value when I go out of that room uh, you can just see that how it affects the scene over here so uh, if uh, this is the thing which if you want the whole scene to be affected by this I need to increase this volume so if I just make it 10 by 10 by 10 the size of this uh, scene over here or more let's make it 50 now you can just see that everything has become dark uh, because of this exposure value whatever i adjusted over here so if i just try increasing now let's make it 0.1 okay 
so if i'm just going out of that particular box over here uh, now it is too big you can just see this is that what is the volume of that over here so if i just make it around 25 25 25 and let's fix that this uh, if you want to reduce this individually also we can just uh, adjust that over here So I'm just keep like this so you can see uh, what is happening over here inside the scene. So this is what we have this volume. This I make 10 and let's fix it over here. Okay, so if we just zoom in now. So if I'm just going inside this room, uh, you can just see that it is becoming much uh, brighter over here uh, because of the exposure settings what we have it over here so it is controlling everything over here so if I reduce this exposure a little less okay so uh, it is like uh, post production process what we can do it over here uh, inside this uh, once we add this node so whatever is inside uh, whatever the objects are there inside this scene that will be affected by it over here so if you want to adjust the exposure of the scene or if you want to do some kind of color correction also for this scene we can uh, do it over here so there are different properties of that over here so if I just go to the image effects uh, if I just click on this uh, vignette effect and you want to reduce that see this so the corners how it become black uh, if you switch off and switch on so it will give this more cinematic look for your uh, videos uh, when you are doing this uh, vignette intensity because this side it will be too dark and whatever is the subject is it is much focused over here uh, so like this we have lots and lots of different properties you also have the color grading uh, and here we have this uh, you can just see this so inside this color grading you have the temperature so if you want to adjust the temperature of the scene you want to make it more warm or more of this so if I am making it towards left all right this is the white balance uh, which you can adjust it if you want to adjust color temperature click on the color temperature and you can adjust this color temperature or it okay so uh, these are the different properties which you can play around uh, when you want to adjust this suppose the shadows uh, you want to uh, affect over here so shadow saturation so if I open this what kind of shadow uh, you want it for that uh, saturation color can be changed uh, when you adjust this values over here so the red has to be more or uh, so it is affecting only the shadow part of the image uh, you can just see much closer if I go, go over here so red is removed from the shadows and it gives more cyan color uh, so here we have the green color so this is going to affect only the shadow part of the image uh, we have it over here so we also have the highlights so if you want to affect only the highlight let's go to this gamma and if you just want to increase this more of the uh, red into this so let's go for this see this so if i'm just moving too much extreme you can just see that the highlight part uh, it becomes a totally different color over there okay so it affects it, it is affecting only the highlight uh, part of the image so you can uh, control everything over here so if you want to adjust this global illumination let's make it lumen and we have this uh, so these are the different things which you can use it and we also have one more option called depth of field even this is important so if you switch on this now focus distance let's make it 10 now now we can just see that we'll get this nice uh, depth of field inside my scene so when I'm moving the camera closer uh, when the distance is only 10 units you'll be able to see that uh, so that is the like how we adjust the camera focus uh, right so the same thing which we have it over here is uh, this is called depth of field uh, so uh, how much distance you want to be in focus you can specify over here suppose if I want this 50 units to be in focus 
so i can adjust that 50 units and uh, when i zoom the camera you can just see that as i'm making near the 50 uh, units or with this uh, we'll be able to see this nice uh, uh, focus if i'm going out of that it goes out of focus so that is what the focus distance will do uh, so if i increase it to 100 and this is the uh, depth blur per kilometer uh, over here so it is uh, by kilometer over here and we have the radius of this okay so now if we just start play over here let's start playing that uh, thing now we are inside this let's hold left click and move it I think we need to bake uh, the lights also when you are uh, doing it over here. So you need to build a light uh, for the scene. So when you are creating something like this, you need to make sure that you build uh, everything over here. So build all levels if you want to build it. Build everything. Save selected. So when you are building that, uh, it will be like... Uh, it will be much smoother when we play that uh, over here and it is uh, building this high uh, LODs uh, also over here uh, so LOD means level of details uh, how much uh, detailed uh, level you want to uh, be seen inside this so this is this will have multiple level of details when we bring the object uh, it will be low uh, mid and high or depending on that how much you want it uh, you can just use that so it is taking little more time right now so let's stop building this map we can't stop okay <laughs> okay so let it build that uh, so this is what uh, we have different uh, properties uh, over here so we can control everything inside this uh, post uh, production uh, so how we can control the color correction how we can control the depth of field inside the scene everything can be uh, adjusted over here so this is what can be done inside this okay so by the time it builds uh, let us open another project okay so till this any any doubts you have so how to create the fog uh, and how to add the volumetric cl clouds inside this any doubts uh, till now no sir no sir uh, one doubt is there uh, we add the volumetric clouds right hmm. so uh, do they cast shadows like can we make them cast shadows on the ground the cloud uh, yeah if you adjust the light uh, setup over there uh, we can hmm. okay okay so okay yeah any other uh, doubts you have guys any other thing if you have is uh, taking time to build a, a scene if you have any other doubts you can just ask uh, have you started working on that uh, particular scenes anyone oh, i think uh, today and tomorrow you'll start working on it i was trying to add models sir but uh, oh. uh, like whenever i'm trying to add mountains and stuff uh, the system is hanging and i'm not able to continue with that okay uh, so, so <coughs> yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, see that how to add the landscape also uh, next uh, session so okay. if you are adding that too heavy mesh over there no it might hang so mm. we have yeah. one more thing over here called landscape and foliage so uh, okay. we can uh, use that same uh, over here because this whatever the mega scan mesh is too high too heavy mm. uh, so yeah. it might take little time to load it uh, so here we have one more option called landscape uh, we okay. can create our own mountains and all these things inside this particular hmm. okay. so that's what I okay. will then I'll try to work on lighting first uh, so that won't take much so uh, by the time I complete lighting I think uh, one landscape will try to you know like uh, come up with it yeah so you try with a simple scene uh, now and then we can just work a little, little bit of more complicated uh, scenes but your voice is breaking uh, is Hello. Could you repeat, sir? You told. Uh, yeah. So what we'll be doing it, we'll just try with a uh, simple scene first, uh, not too much heavy scene. 
so it will be easy to build and all all these things uh, which is like uh, demo scenes are there right uh, inside uh, once you open the level you have this demo house kind of thing which you can use it mm. when you start with a uh, project no so at that time you have different types of simple projects uh, which you can load in mm. uh, yes okay like uh, uh, yes. Uh, your voice is still breaking for me i think internet connection okay so any uh, mine is fine uh, <laughs> okay so uh, uh, i will share the recording so i think you will be able to hear that okay uh, so in this if you have any doubt uh, you can just ask uh, we'll continue this uh, on thursday uh, next session so if you have any doubts in the previous sessions and this session you can just ask me uh previous sessions uh, as of now we don't have any doubt uh, if we get anything we'll surely ask you sir okay uh, so you can also try uh, creating some of this like uh, there is car uh, thing also so if you want to create some kind of path uh, inside the scene or something some building you want to place it around the car uh, you can just try using even this uh, scene okay so like vehicle uh, kind of thing so it is having all this nice uh, blueprint for this you can try even this level also so have you tried and all of this uh, inside this creating uh, different uh, projects or you are in only into this have you tried any other uh, scene also someone has said something yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry, uh, I had I had tried only first person and third person. I have not tried any other option. I will try. Okay, so you try doing that also. So because you might get uh, if different ideas for different game when you start, so you might get a different idea to make uh, using this. So you can uh, use this as a starting point, and then you can start building this uh, game over here. using this so you can use this first person you can use this third person also so yeah. uh, try taking and uh, try creating a different uh, scene so here we have also have for the architectural uh, yeah. scene uh, we have for this automotive uh, particular thing and we also have for ar vr uh, certain projects uh, we can just see this is for virtual reality so we can uh, open this project and check uh, even that as well Sure, sure. And this is for AR, so augmented reality. Uh, so any object you want to, uh, you need to connect the Android device for this, and uh, you can see this as well. So this will go in uh, further classes as we go. Uh, so that now for now, uh, you can just work on the scene lighting, uh, go through the basics uh, well, and then we can just continue. Sure, sir. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So try creating uh, by Thursday. You have time tomorrow also. So tomorrow you take. time and by thursday you can try uh, creating some kind of project and show yes me. sir yes sir okay. so yeah. okay then uh, see you on thursday uh, evening same time sure sir yes yeah. okay. so yeah uh, happy dasera yeah same to you sir wish you this okay yes yeah. so see you thank you yeah. thank you sir bye